That's what this gives. It gives pretty woman minus the prostitution. What? Or you know what? Oh, happy sunday i hope everybody's having a great day i hope you guys had a great night listen i didn't get a chance to make it to the house of the lord this morning so this happy sunday post is not gonna be as glamorous as every sunday however i'm gonna give y'all a happy sunday okay I know some people be looking forward to the happy Sunday. <laughs> but today I'm just going to run a couple of errands. I'm going to do a few errands for my aunt. My aunt's kind of a little under the weather. So I'm going to run a few errands for her. Finish up my little, you know, errands for myself as well. Reset myself today for the week. Um, we ain't got on a whole lot. Just a little brown, little get up. I bought these tights from Rose Hills today. Y'all, they supposed to be like tummy control tights. Like, but these days is tight. You know, I ain't got a whole lot back there, but I got a new one, okay? But yeah, I like them. They comfortable. I've been wanting to do a little brown situation. I ain't got on much. I got on my area I have shoes, and I think I'm gonna wear them outside today because, listen, this ankle is total. For some reason, when I have my little womenly, my ankles hurt. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but yeah. We ain't got on no legs, we ain't got on no eyebrows, we ain't got on no nothing. I need to go get my nails took off because, listen, they did they thing for the season and the season is over and i'm i'm really gonna get my fingers a break because i'm sick of my fingers i like i'm tired i'm starting to hurt myself and y'all know yeah i can't you know, have all of it and i remember last time i hurt myself i broke my fingernails off to the white me white me but anyway yes my voice is still a little raspy we did a lot of hollering screaming laughing joking running dancing last night but yeah i'm about to run these errands very quick and then come home and try to get the last room together and then go in the warehouse and do some work in the warehouse gotta do some paperwork you know just a little stuff you do on sundays um what else that's really about it like i say we ain't got all much just a little one two y'all i'm definitely making it my business to at least try to put to put forth the effort to not to always be at my best even if my best is chill and relaxed but really just making my business to be at my best at all times. Like, put forth the effort in what I put on. I don't have to always be glamified with the grip on the lashes, the eyebrows, the hair. Like, you know what I'm saying? But at least, why well, I need to put my earrings on. Hold on, let me get some earrings. Okay, I got my earrings. Because one thing about it is she going to wear her little earrings, okay? See? I love these little earrings. They were a Christmas gift. Aren't they cute? They real dainty. They don't, they don't do it a whole lot. Hey, dainty. Y'all finna see the struggles of what it's like to have long nails and be wanting to do little dainty stuff, child. I do long nails. When people think you can't do nothing with them. But, baby, period. See, I'm huh? period. But, yeah, y'all, like, I have, um, what was I telling y'all? Oh, yeah, just being on my best. Like, that's 2024 is just, you know, for real. Like, be on your best. Like, be your best at all times. Like, like for real, for real. Be on your best at all times. Like, show up in the room as yourself. And I am very extra. People who know me for real, for in real life, in real time, who grew up with me, like, they know I've always been extra. Like, <laughs> since I was able to walk, I've always been extra and over the top. These are so cute. These are really cute. They turn up your earrings. Yes, they are. I've always been extra and over the top. So even through depressions, the divorce, the deaths I've experienced in my life, I'm always over the top. Over the top. So it's just my goal is to be intentional at all times with myself. Be just be intentional, child. Put your clothes on. Put a bra on. Okay? Put some drawers on. Put a panel on. Do what you gotta do. Put some load. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna lie on put load on my hand all the time. But just be intentional with yourself. But yeah, I'm gonna get out of here, y'all. Bye. I ain't even trying to be funny, y'all. And don't get me wrong. Y'all know I love the Gucci's and the, the Tories and the Louis and the... I love them. The MCMs. However, this Dooney... It's something about Dooney. Dooney is like a classic brand. I don't care what nobody say. Argue with your granny. 
argue with your granny. They used to go to folders and JC Penney's on Saturday mornings, okay? Argue with them. Because see, back in the day, when my mama was around, baby, Junie. That was the bag. She didn't she didn't and it, she she didn't need all of that stuff. Dooney. What? It it screamed, hey, she has arrived. She has arrived. But I love a good Dooney. And y'all know this bag old as me. Cause it was my mama's. Okay? It was my mama's. And baby, listen, it screams elegance. And I love that. I love that for me. I love that vibe for me. So yes, we gonna rock the Dooney today. Okay? We gonna we gonna give her, you know, her flowers. I love this bag. Go run to the, run to the, go, go. I'm telling y'all, run to the dealers. Run to the dealers and get you one. Matter of fact, don't even having a sale right now. Look at me. Give him a little plug. Don't even having a sale right now. Baby, ain't nothing wrong with a little donny. Y'all can have the Lewis and the Gucci. That's cool. I got them. But a donny. Y'all, it's classy. Classy base. Classy base. And you put your little pure and prom in there too. What? And get it. The straps going to hold them. The stra these straps is durable. Baby, don't play with Donny. Don't play with Donny. I love a good Donny. Yeah, look at the feet. Oh, baby, them and them feet and the feet don't move. Didn't move. Baby, this bag is old, old, and it's still in good shape. She got a little, you know, a little one, two, a little few stretch marks, but that's all right. Look, baby, I love a good Donny. Ooh, ooh, yes. Baby, this is what we're giving today. Comfortable, running our runs. <laughs> Tamla man, Tamla man. Baby, Tamla man was trying to be in the video. However, hey, Tamla. I'm going in this store with a plan. I shop. And I go, when I go into these little thrift stores, into these Rouses, into these dealers and all of the things, I spend money. And I buy unnecessary stuff. So the plan is, is I'm going to go on my Pinterest, on my little board, and my Pinterest board, and find an outfit that I want to recreate. That's the plan. Come on, let's go. Okay, so... I've been shopping y'all a lot. Well, not a lot, but I have been shopping. However, this one. I'm gonna have this on there, this on there. I've been shopping. I went, hold on. Cause your girl's making. Anyway, so I've been thrifting. I went thrifting. Um, oh, it's my Annie College drifting. Listen, I've been thrifting before thrifting became a thing to do. And everybody was TikToking it and Instagramming it and stuff. I've been thrifting for a long time. I learned how to thrift from my aunts. From my aunts. Um, and my mom. We would always go to the thrift store and look for, like, name brand items. Like, you know, back in the day, it was like Tommy Hilfiger, Polo, stuff like that. Because I've always wore, like, Express and Mimity. I grew up wearing it. So, so when I see people wearing it, now I'll be like, hmm, I've been doing it. So... <laughs> Uh, cause the I was a limited girl, okay, limited girl. But anyway, I went to Ross yesterday. Um, I kind of did a video on my TikTok, um, about my little finds at Ross or whatever. But I'm gonna show y'all her on YouTube. So I found this pink trench. Let me see if I can put it on. I should have took my clothes off and put on something a little lighter. But ain't that cute? That is so adorable. I think this was like. $21 or something like that. Or $26. I think it was like, it, it was under $30. Basically, so. Yeah, it was under $30. Don't sleep on Ross. Ross gave me some real cute stuff. And I wore it yesterday to my uncle's um, birthday party. Oh, I was cute, y'all. Then, and for some reason, these furry type of coats have been having me in a show coat. I seen an outfit on Pinterest. I'm a Pinterest girl as well. I'm going to put my link to my Pinterest account in my description box but y'all ooh, pimp down oh pimp in distress listen it's a rodeo coming up in houston i'm going and this may be the centerpiece of that trip the centerpiece this is so cute this may be the centerpiece this is really like girl girl Girl, cause it's still gonna be cold in February, beginning of March. Like, yeah, this might be the centerpiece. I like her for us. I like her. Mm -hmm, I like her. That's that on. That's that on the Ross. 
Oh, and then I had got like these pants and stuff, like you know, little stuff. And I had got like some little tank tops or whatever from Walmart. So you know, we didn't even have to go through all that. But those two pink jackets, oh my god, I can't wait. So the things that I got from the thrift store, nothing major. Just a little straight little skirt. I didn't have one, and I need one. And you know, you could do this. These are straight little A line skirts are really versatile. Or whatever, and it's gonna fit, you know, kind of snug on me. Yeah, under five dollars. And y'all can say what y'all want to say about the thrift store. Don't care. However, if you have a washing machine at home, if you have a laundry bag near you, listen. <laughs> uh, tired of uh, do the job. And then I got this little shirt here, giving preppy vibes. Can't wait to put something really fun with that. That's gonna be real cute. Oh, now I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this one for that. Nah, nah, I'm sure it's y'all. Yo. This skirt gives rich Amy vibes, okay? I am a divorcee, a divorcee, or whatever you want to call it. But listen, this gives, I ain't worried about that, man. Vibes. This is so cute. Say what you want to say. And as a matter of fact, it's backwards. There we go. I can't wait. Baby. With me some. <laughs> Baby, I'm gonna be so cute. So cute. It was under $13, but it's cute. It still got the tag on it. Like, what you say what you want? So I'm gonna have to like send this to the cleaners. Or if they still sell like that dry air, y'all remember that dry air where you could put your stuff that had to go to the cleaners in the bag, like you spot clean and you put it in the bag and you put it in the dry. I'm gonna have to go buy some of that for these just to, you know. Cause I don't want to mess up my belt, and the belt doesn't come off, and I don't want to mess up, mess this up. So I can't wait. Ooh, ooh, child. Ooh, when I wear this, it's gonna be so up when I wear this. Then, uh oh, then I found this blazer. I love, love, love tassels. I love. I can't get it on because this is like really tight, but I love tassels. Y'all want me some cute boots? Oh my goodness, girl. Red River girl, I come. Or just going out, taking myself out on a date or whatever, or going to the rodeo, feeling real, you know, rich, ranch, white type of vibes. This is it, this is it. This gives Beth Dutton, if you've never seen Yellowstone, you tripping. Go watch Yellowstone, like, it's Sunday. But baby, look at them. Must I say any more? Must I say any more? Must I say any more? Like, I'm super excited about this. Like, oh, and then every time I go to the thrift store and I find like really good stuff, I get so excited. But what I'm trying to start doing is creating outfits and not just buying items. Like, I have a ton of clothes. Um, it's kind of it's a bit ridiculous, but I don't have enough outfits. I have cute clothes, like I have cute items, I have cute pieces, but I'm learning how to put them together and create an outfit. And you know, like, so I've been on Pinterest really strong, been using my resources, my home girl, be, hey girl, um, has been, you know, we've been bouncing out for each other, or whatever, so I really love it. I love it for me. We're doing pretty girl stuff out 2024. I love it. It's everything. But this girl, I'm very cool. Move Louie bag. Yeah, I play, baby. Baby, it's giving first lady meets pretty woman without the prostitution. That's what this gives. That's what this gives. It gives pretty woman minus the prostitution. What? Or you know how they be on some horse races and the women be wearing them hats? It's giving sipping tea with the queen of England. And I'm so excited that I'm like, baby, <laughs> what? I'm gonna walk up in the house of the Lord. Hmm, come on. What? Don't play with me. I love me all Mexican skirts. Don't. I'm a hoochie, but I love all classy based, elegant outfits. Oh, oh, jeez, I love it. Ooh, Lord, I love it. Ooh, and I thank you. Ooh, I love it. Then I just bought just a basic little men's button down. So kind of do the, now you do your sweater and then you have the collar at the top, real preppy, 
for preppy outfit. So it's really nothing major. So this shirt was maybe it was three three dollars three three three. Three 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 actually. Three three three. It was originally six, but three three three. And y'all don't have one on my foot. My surprise is taking up. But yeah, I got that. So I'm walking around the thrift store. Hold on. Okay. I'm walking around the thrift store. And y'all I can spend hours in the thrift store. When I say I can spend hours, I can spend hours in the thrift store. I do mean hours in the thrift store. But I already said, okay, I'm going here with a plan. Let me look at my Pinterest board and see what I have on my Pinterest board and like what two or three outfits I really want to recreate or whatever. Because you know when you're going through, so you're not going to find exactly what you see online, like in your your um board, on your board. You're not going to find those exact items. You can find stuff that's similar to it and you know exactly what you want. You know what type of outfit you're trying to recreate. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go on here with a plan. If I see fur sequence um applique tassels i'm going straight forward denim i'm going straight forward i'm starting to get into leather but since we wasn't on leather this week we didn't even start looking for like any leather pants skirts stuff like that because i've seen the outfit on pinterest that i really wanted to recreate however we that's not what we was there for side note i'm gonna have to start wearing human hair for my braids because they broke my face out but y'all i seen some tassels and i'm trying to get away from black so and it's like this burgundy maroon color i guess and i was like oh what's that so i went over there y'all and y'all know i am into western fashion i'm into fashion i also i love clothes i love to see people put their clothes together like fashion has been my first love since i was a kid so you know Getting back to me, shall I getting back to stuff that I love? And it's it's so amazing. Thank I just thank the Lord for it. Um, I thank the Lord for a second chance. But y'all when I seen this, it, our best was off. And she wasn't even a part of the plan, okay? She was nowhere near a part of the plan. And mind y'all, my Pinterest board is called Cowgirl Fashion. Yeah, Cowgirl Fashion. And if you go look at my board on Pinterest. It's not just Western fashion. It's everything. But since I fancy myself a cowgirl, hello. Because listen, we grabbing life by the horns, baby. We're going to ride. We're going to ride. We're going to ride. Okay, so I fancy myself a cowgirl. However, y'all, when I seen this, I said, what are we talking about? Because guess what? I could see me huh, huh, at Dolly Parton concert. It, it came with Shell. Because, you know, she's a country singer now. But I could see me at Kate Michelle concert, baby. Because what? Because what? Baby, I could see me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Because, baby, what? Kate Rains. Baby, I could see me at Kate Michelle concert with this song. Baby, don't tell me nothing. Baby, I'm going to be, what? Give me some boots. Ugh. I ain't like I need no new boots, but I, I do need some new boots. It's about time to buy me some new boots. But yes, some Western boots, cowgirl boots. I didn't buy boots, but like, you know, boots. But baby, y'all, when I saying this, I say, oh, yeah. I'll bet y'all, I don't care what's in my basket. This is going home with me. Sway got the little embellishments. If that's what you got, what? Last but definitely not least, least when I say y'all, when I go in the thrift store, I label shop. I do label shop. Um, so when I find certain labels that I know are like, if you buy them brand new, they're gonna be an easy hundred dollars, easy seventy dollars, easy fifty dollars, especially when you trail ride. You know, boots are expensive. Um. Jeans are expensive. I wear a lot of bell bottoms. Those can be very expensive. So when I go, you know, I always keep that in mind. Overalls. Uh, I haven't found any, like, thermal overalls. So I might have to just buy those brand new, which I don't have an issue with it. Um, Because I have to buy. <laughs> what we talking about? But listen, when I found this jacket, and I had this jacket for a couple of months. I had this jacket. I got, got this jacket in the warmer months. So in the warmer months, you want to shop for your coats and stuff like that. So when I found this jacket, I was like, and the fact that I am 
literally obsessed with the brand. However, the brand, I haven't found this brand. I don't really think it was tailored for women with curves. However, they are diverse and I appreciate that. Shout out to Wrangler, I appreciate you. However, this jacket, it wasn't gonna, it wasn't gonna go in nobody else's hands. It was coming to mine. And I think I paid maybe $19 for it. And I didn't mind paying $19 for it because Wrangler jackets start off at like $68, $70. I'll give you $20. What? Oh, this jacket is so cute. So this is a Wrangler denim jacket. I am obsessed with Wrangler. I don't care what y'all say. I Wrangler, Wrangler. I, I'm obsessed with it. Just like y'all obsessed with, with uh, what's that shit you? Them MCM bags y'all be wearing. Them MCM bags y'all be stealing. Y'all be obsessed with that. That's what I'm obsessed with Wrangler. I don't care. Judge your mammy. Don't judge me. I'm obsessed with Wrangler. I love them. Listen. This jacket. I love it. $20. And it's a little big. However, I don't mind oversized, especially in the winter. Because it's cold. I like oversized. I like comfort. And when I go to a bonfire... I don't want my clothes super tight because it's cold. So oversized is always good. I mean, look at the inside. And literally when I bought it, it was brand new. Like it looked like they purchased it and then just probably didn't wear it. Or like maybe like whatever store it was in, they just donated it because nobody had bought it. But I wear it. I buy it. Don't worry about it. I buy it. I wear it. Don't even worry about it. I'll, I'll take it off your hands. <laughs> Cause baby, I have a bonfire to go to. At the end of the month, and I could see myself in this jacket because it's super warm on the inside. A little hoodie with flashing cowgirl across it, and I don't know I, some overalls. I could see me in this because I love. I'm obsessed with denim, and I'm definitely obsessed with Wrangler. I love it. So yes, this is my. <laughs> I feel like this was like when I found this. I felt like I had won the Olympics, the Olympics of of thrifting. Like, I just was like, oh, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh. Like, I was satisfied for the week. I didn't have to, like, go to no thrift store. Like, I found these. I purchased whatever else was in my bags. Some stuff flew out of my bags just so I could buy these. Because I try to have, like, a, a spending limit when I go in there. Because if not, you're looking at $2, $3, $4, $5, $10 for a Nike hoodie that costs, I don't know, how much Nike hoodies cost? $45? You, you know, you can run the bag up kind of, you know, you spend $200 in thrift store easy. Especially if you know exactly what you're looking for. You could spend at least, I've spent like two, three hundred dollars in the thrift store for. Like, with, with no problem. I've, I've spent it. And yeah. Don't judge me. Judge me. Okay. okay. So, on to the boots. Listen. I seen these boots like a year and a half ago on the girl on um, TikTok. And I was upset, obviously. But I didn't want to pay that money for it. I didn't have that much coin. I mean, I still don't have that much coin, but I didn't have that type of coin. I didn't know how to shop. Let's just say, let's just call it what it was. I didn't know how to shop with certain stuff. So I was like, eh, I didn't know about like the little, you know, shoe deals. I knew about them, but I didn't know about them. Now I know about them. And it's like, you can't beat me there. So look, listen. And I'm not putting these shoes on. I'm just gonna show them to y'all because my legs are big, I'm tired, and I'm not doing it. But listen. I don't care what you say. Judge your mama. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Judge your mama. Don't judge me. These are so cute. Under $50. Okay. But they were like. Okay. We're going to say under $60. Because they was like maybe $44.99. Yeah. Maybe like $44.99. Something like that. So. Yeah. These are cute. The straps kind of concern me sometimes when I put them on. I have to really figure out how to really rock these all the way. But I will put these on before. The winner is up. These are going on my body. These are going on my body. Okay. So, these are not boots, but these are really cute. I purchased these too. These are really cute. However, they are heavy. They are heavy. I don't know if I need to, like, put, like, something here to keep my feet from, like, sliding. I don't know. But these is heavy. Y'all see how I got time? These is head. Like, I don't know how to pick my feet up in them or something. They're just, like, really super heavy. So, I don't know if these would be, like, a modeling shoes. 
when I do but when my son does my photography or whatever because we're doing a whole lot more photo shoots this year I don't care what nobody say judge mama don't judge me but as far as like going out going on a date or something like that I wouldn't wear these just because I don't feel secure enough in them and they're going to flop so it's like hmm yeah Nah, I'm, I, you know, you hear what I'm saying? Yeah, no, because I know how to walk in heels. And these make me feel like I can't walk in heels. And I don't like this. So, listen. These shoes that I talked about before we started this little segment of the video, I had seen them on this lady on TikTok. And I think she had the Jessica Simpson ones. Or she may have had them. The ones that were on Amazon. And I was like, ugh. I don't want to spend $200 on no, no heel boots. I just don't want to do that. Now, I spent, I would spend $500 on a pair of Western boots. Easily. Not without even blinking my eyes. Without thinking twice. I would do it. I'm, I'm just, I'm one of them girls. I would do that. But when I seen these boots on Shoe Deal uh, Instagram, I said, I'm, I'm getting out work early. And I'm going. And that's what I did. Me and the little man friend, we went on with me. Come on, let's go on. Baby, I tell y'all. I don't care if you into Western fashion, streetwear, high fashion, low fashion, Walmart. I don't care. Cowgirl, non-cowgirl. If you are a woman, hey, you deserve these. You do. You could be a lady at the night. I don't care. You deserve these. I deserve them so much. Yeah, I deserve these boots so much. I got them twice. I don't care. What? Thumbnail. Listen, I deserve these. I deserve them. I deserve them. I just, I, you know, I did. Hey, listen, baby. And these were $44.99, something like that. So, yeah. I deserve... I think I like that better. I deserve these. Because when you walk in, I wore these for my cousin's birthday. I took her out. We went to Tixio. And I wore these. And people was like, and that's the response I want. When I walk through, I want everybody to be like, oh, who is that? Hey, it's me. It's P. It's the last. You girl. How you doing? Hmm? It's Miss P, baby. Hmm, talk to me nice. So, yo, that's it, y'all. I done went shopping. I done spent money. And now I'm tired. And now I gotta put all this stuff up. 